Uh, today we are going to discuss that two maths of paper uh, five. Okay, let us start with question number one. Find the area of a circle x square plus y square plus 6xy plus 4 equal to 0. So, uh, for, uh, for finding area of a circle, we must have to be find its radius because uh, area of a circle is uh, pi r square, pi into uh, radius square. So, in this question, we have to find its radius. So, for, for this, we shall make this. Uh, equation in the standard form. Uh, so, if the standard form is uh, x minus h whole square y minus k whole square is equal to r square. So, we shall discuss it on the whiteboard. Question number one. x square plus y square plus 6y plus 4 equals to 0. So, for uh, making it in a standard form, we must have to be uh, use a um, uh, perfect square method. So, it's a perfect square. Uh, the x term is already in perfect square form. We'll have to make y square term in perfect square. So, rule for making perfect square is uh, we have to divide uh, coefficient of y by 2. So, that is 6 by 2, 3 and 3 square is 9. So, add and subtract uh, 9 in this equation. Okay. And we know that y square 6y plus 9. That is y plus 3 whole square. So now it, uh, this equation is x square plus y plus 3 whole square minus 9 plus 4 that is minus 5. So this equation is now uh, can be written as x square or we can also write it x minus 0 square plus y plus 3 whole square equal to 5. Now we shall compare it with the standard equation of a circle x minus h whole square y minus k whole square equal to r square. Here r is its radius and uh, r square is uh, 5. Now find the area of the circle that is pi r square. So, pi and r square is 5. So, its answer is 5, 5. It's a B option. First B. Okay, now, we'll discuss next question. Question number two. If the center of circle x square plus y square plus ax plus by plus 1 equals to 0 is minus 1 and 2, then what is the value of a and b? Okay. So, we shall discuss this question. x star plus y star plus a x plus b by plus 1 equal to 0 and the center is at minus 1 comma 2. So, as we know like uh, equation if equation of circle is like like 2 g x 2 f y plus c equal to 0 then coordinate of its center is minus g and minus f. 
So we shall compare these equations. So it's a center coordinate as per this equation would be minus a by 2 and minus b by 2. So this is as given in the question minus 1 comma 2. So minus a by 2 equal to minus 1. So a equal to and b minus b by 2 equal to 2 then b equal to minus 2 sorry minus 4 so a plus b is asked in the question a plus b equal to what so 2 minus 4 that is minus 2 so a plus b equal to minus 2 second B, B option matching with this one. Now, question number three. In the yeah, sorry, in a right triangle ABC, AB is 13, BC is 12, AC is 5. What is the value of sin A? First of all, ABC is a right triangle. So, we shall draw a triangle. So, the so right triangle would be like this, this is 90 degree, okay, so x square plus y square, oh sorry, this is our question number 3, okay, a, b, we can assume this a, this is b, and this is c. A B is thirteen, B C is twelve, and A C is five. This is given in the question. Okay, what is the value of sin A? So this is angle A. So sin A is equal to opposite side over hypotenuse. We can write in short opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite side is twelve, hypotenuse is thirteen. So, if the answer is 12 by 13, which uh, option is matching 12 by 13? Uh, B. So, 3 also have B option. Second was B, first was also B. Okay. okay question number 4. What is given in the question? Summation of 2k minus 1 where k lie from 3 to 6. Summation of k where k is from 3 to 6. 2k minus 1. This is the question. So we shall write it like this. When k is equal to 3, then it would be 2 into 3 plus 1, sorry, minus 1, plus when k equal to 4, then it would be 2 into 4 minus 1. When k equal to 5, then 2 into 5 minus 1 when k equal to 6 then 2 into 6 minus 1 like this so 2 3 the 6 minus 1 that is 5 4 to the 8 minus 1 that is 7 5 to the 10 minus 1 9 6 to the 12 minus 1 11 please add all this 
so eleven plus nine twenty twenty seven and five thirty two. Is the answer is thirty two. Uh, it's a C option. What is C? Question number five. In question number five, two x to the power three by four equal to fifty four. Then what is the value of x? Okay, one second, please. So now we shall discuss question number five. Two to the power two to the power three by four. That is equal to fifty four. So what is the value of x? So we shall divide both sides by two. So it would be three to the power four equal to twenty-seven. Then x to the power three by four is equal to three to the power three. Then um, we can take uh, uh, by fourth power at both sides. Then it would be x to the power three would be three to the power three to the power four. So a to the power m to the power n equal to a to the power m into n. Similarly, three to the power three to the power four that would be twelve. So from here we can take square root, uh, cube root at both sides. So it would be three to the power twelve to the power one by three. So which is equal to three to the power twelve by three. So x equal to three to the power four. The okay, options are given eighty one, fifty four. Okay, three to the power four is eighty one. So five is a. Okay, question number six. <coughs> If x square plus three x plus two k divided by x minus one equal to b. Their limit x tends to one, and b is an integer. What is the value of b minus k? So in this one, uh, question, this is a question of limit. Okay, let us discuss the question. Question number six. 